May 15th, the habit of rising to the occasion. That ye may know what is the hope of his calling. Ephesians 1 verse 18. Remember what you were saved for, that the Son of God might be manifested in your mortal flesh. Bend the whole energy of your powers to realize your election as a child of God. Rise to the occasion every time. You cannot do anything for your salvation, but you must do something to manifest it. You must work out what God has worked in. Are you working it out with your tongue and your brain and your nerves? If you are still the same miserable cross patch set on your own way, then it is a lie to say that God has saved and sanctified you. God is the master engineer. He allows the difficulties to come in order to see if you can vault over them properly. By my God have I leaped over a wall. God will never shield you from any of the requirements of a son or daughter of his. Peter says, Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you. Rise to the occasion. Do the thing. It does not matter how it hurts as long as it gives God the chance to manifest himself in your mortal flesh. May God not find the wine in us any more, but may he find us full of spiritual pluck and athleticism, ready to face anything he brings. We have to exercise ourselves so that the Son of God may be manifested in our mortal flesh. God never has museums. The only aim of life is that the Son of God may be manifested and all dictation to God vanishes. Our Lord never dictated to His Father, and we are not here to dictate to God. We are here to submit to His will so that He may work through us what He wants. When we realize this, He will make us broken bread and poured out wine to feed and nourish others.